Hi guys, I know it's been a long time coming. I have not recorded videos in a while, but I am back and I'm ready to record. I'm going to try and bring you guys new videos every Monday. Um, that's going to be my new agenda. So um, this video is going to be about how to wrap and mold your hair and how to get um, your hair to really lay nicely without um, cutting. I don't know if I've let you guys know, but I'm trying to grow my hair out until at least April. Um, that's my birthday, so I would like to see how long I can go without cutting my hair. I am infamous for cutting my hair and want to try and let it grow at least for four months to see how long I can get it. My hair grows pretty fast. So anyway, I'm babbling, I'm babbling. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to wrap your hair. Let's get started. Okay, so I just got uh, finished shampooing my hair. Um, I did not bring everything home that I would normally use on my hair, so I am going to talk you guys through the video. Some things um, I may not have here with me because, like I said, I did not know I was going to be filming today. Okay? So the items you're going to need, a uh, rat tail comb, um, your wrap. This one is mesh. I normally, um, if I'm going under the dryer, I use paper, but I have this mesh one here. Um, and your wrapping foam. Today I'm using um, Mazzani. Last time I used uh, Nairobi. I prefer Nairobi Influence Design over Mazzani, but I'm using what I have today because, like I said, I did not know I was going to be doing this. So anyway, first what you're going to do is you're going to part your hair um, pretty much at the crown of your head from almost from ear to ear. So I'm starting about here. And the reason I'm going this far back is because that's where I like to wear my hair. Um, and it's best to go at least there, okay? So you're going to part there about, I don't know if you guys can see that, okay? That oh, my phone's ringing, guys. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to add your uh, wrapping foam. And you're going to just apply it liberally. Um, on your hair. Depending on the wrapping foam, sometimes you don't need as much. You could just put a little bit on your hand. But uh, Mazzani and uh, Motion, they're a little more water based. Um, so this one you have to apply a little more than you would with um, uh, something like Influence or Design or Nairobi. Okay? So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just right now going straight down all over the head. Same in the back, just straight down, okay? I don't know if you guys could hear me. I tried to talk a little louder. So in the back, you're doing the same thing, just going straight down. And as you guys can see, my hair is getting longer. See, it's over my ears and I can't stand it. But I also have a video um, to show you guys of a new hairstyle, okay? So um, if your hair is not laying, feel free to add more um, wrapping foam. If you're using um, a different brand, you shouldn't need to add more foam at all. Um, it a little goes a long way on other brands. But like I said, um, not crazy about Mazzani. Okay, so as you see what I just did, I just laid it straight down, but then I took the comb and just kind of created that little um, mold because I want to be able to push my hair back so that's why I'm creating that there. Same thing in the front. Now if you notice there's no part here, okay? So we're going to do this with out a part. The reason for this, even if you wear your hair with a part, um, is because you're, you don't want to create a permanent part in your hair. See, I did the same thing there. Here, we're brushing forward, and we're going to cause like a little separation, but not quite a part. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's just a little separation, but not quite a part, okay? Same thing here. And again, in the back, you're just going straight down. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see what I'm doing back here. But you're just going straight down. 
and try and get the hair to lay as smoothly as possible because when you tie it up you don't want any waviness okay now because my hair is um growing out over my ears i am kind of pushing it um to the front just a bit i don't know if you guys can see uh so again just lay that down and lay the front down same thing on the other side so real simple you see there's the part you're not going in a swirl pattern like you would wrapping it um this is more of a mold than it is a wrap um again laying it as smoothly as possible so there is no lump and uh you know just kind of going with the shape of your head it does not matter what side um you create your separation um it just depends on the style of your hair uh the hairstyle that you guys choose so this is really simple now once you've got your hair molded to the style um the side that you prefer it on you get your wrap or you're wrapping papers uh your wrap strips and you do the same thing you put it right on your head i want you guys to see how i'm doing this i'm kind of sliding it down my head and then same thing just putting it on there and then i just kind of pull it down so that the hairs on the back of my neck lay okay so that way there is no um uh little hamburger meat hanging out you know those little curly cues that go up so i have this wrapped it's um pretty secure and simple hair's wrapped really easy um like i said i have a new video coming for you guys it's going to be uh the new style that i have for my hair that has grown out of the shorter version of this it's a little longer so it's for you ladies that are in that awkward stage um but don't want old lady hair so this is um going to be something good for you guys okay so again uh i appreciate you guys watching my videos i hope this helps in how you wrap your hair um if you have any questions feel free to ask below um you can also follow me on instagram i have uh, makeup and hair all those kind of things on there uh you can follow me at april desire um okay so i will check you guys soon talk to you later bye